Guess what day it is, guys? <laughs> Election day. I'm sure, even though many people will be upset regardless of who wins, um, many of us are at least relieved that it's finally going to be over now. Uh, and we just have to deal with whoever we get. Um, I'm going to try to be positive about it, regardless of who wins. Um, we kind of already have an idea. Um, well, I mean, I guessed it months ago, but it's more confirmed now than it was before, because it's election day. Um, currently, Hillary is at 268 votes, uh, electoral votes, when you need 270 to uh, be eligible um, to be, be president. Um, so she's two off from 270. And uh, Trump is at 204. So he still needs another 66 to be eligible um, for presidency. Um, I don't know how many states um, he would need still to uh, get that, but they said that he basically needs all five battleground states in order to hit the 270 mark. Um, if he misses just one battleground state, um, the only chance he has is the states that were already high on Hillary and somehow for some reason they flip-flop and switch to him which probably wouldn't happen which is why they said that he needs all five battleground states um, that's what it is currently though Hillary Clinton 268 Donald Trump 204 um, and I I, my prediction right now, um, it is several hours away from the very first poll closings. Uh, my prediction is the same as it was months ago. Hillary is going to win. That's what I'm going to say. If she doesn't, I'm going to be really surprised. It's just because of all of this, like, whether or not you believe that she should... It's, or whether or not you believe that Trump should or shouldn't, um, or whether or not you believe Hillary should or shouldn't, it's the, the main reason why Trump probably does not have a chance and probably still didn't months ago is because of the shit that he says. He doesn't, he can't censor himself. That's probably the only reason why he screwed himself over is because he can't censor himself. Um, I bet if he could have censored himself the way that Hillary does, um, he probably would have had a much better shot, especially with the email stuff that came out and all of that stuff. Um, he probably would have had a good chance of winning her, but because he doesn't censor himself um, and the grabbing women by the pussy type of shit, uh, even though that was said years ago um but still it's like all the constant stuff that he's been saying and saying things incorrectly like whether he means it or not like uh the mexican thing when he said that mexican isn't sending their best or sending uh rapists and drug dealers and whatever whether or not he meant only illegals the thing is is he didn't specifically say illegals when he said that, when he said that, he said Mexico is not sending their best. He did not say Mexico, you know, he didn't, like, specifically mention illegals at the time, even if that's what he was talking about. Stuff like that is probably what screwed him over. <sighs> I don't really care who wins, honestly. Between Trump and Hillary, we're both just as good or just as bad either way <laughs> that's my that's that's what i'm saying like no matter what 
we're probably not going to be in the best state that we could have if it was somebody like Bernie Sanders. Even if you didn't agree with everything Bernie stood for, I still think we would have had a much better chance with him than Trump or Hillary. Um, that's my opinion. You can disagree with it. That's completely fine. I don't hate you for disagreeing. Um, like a lot of people have been fighting over and wanting to kill each other about. Uh, but yeah. So I will... Uh, well, you guys will already know because this video will come out the day after. But uh, I wanted to make this video right for the next day. Uh, so I wanted to make it more live this time and then put whatever video I recorded yesterday the next day instead. Um, so we'll see what happens. I will uh, stay tuned. Updated results. 97 electoral, 15.8 million votes, 129 electoral, 17.3 million votes. And this is the graph. So, there we go for now. Oh, it updated a little bit. Uh, 16.5 million to 18 point one million update look at the middle all of its red and then Illinois <laughs> there it is again 122 to 168 I have no idea who the hell is gonna win Now, by the looks of it, you would think Trump, right? But when you still look at California, California didn't vote yet, and they have 55 electoral votes to win. So, like, say say none of the other states updated yet, and Hillary just all of a sudden won California, she'd be ahead of Trump, just instantly, just like that, because of how many electoral votes California has. But... You go to Florida, Florida has 29 and Trump's in the lead right now. And they're pretty much, it's pretty much guaranteed because it's 95% in already. So Trump's probably going to win this one. Uh, and he also is probably going to win Georgia, almost definitely. Uh, so there's that. Um, he also is going to win North Carolina. That has 15. And Georgia has uh, 16. And then Florida has 29, so all three he's going to win. So even if she wins California, those three automatically take it away from her. So I don't know who the hell's going to win. Wow. And just like that, Hillary wins California, and it brings her up to 190 to 172. But this is where the Electoral College bullshit comes in. 38.4 million votes, 40.6. So Trump has the majority vote, but Clinton has the electoral. I'm not saying it's good or bad, whatever. It's just the... Uh, like, I'm not saying Trump should win or Hillary should win. But the electoral college shit should just be gone completely. And just make it majority vote. That's... that America... The regular citizens are the ones that should vote, should be the deciding factor, not the bullshit electoral college, whatever the hell. It should just be majority vote, that's it. Regardless, whether we make a bad decision or a good decision, it should be the regular citizens that should decide, nothing else. New update, he caught up a little bit again. That's the current map. Holy shit. He got Florida. There's only a couple states left. Oh boy. Nothing changed yet, but I just wanted to say that um, 
obviously you guys would already know by now, but um, I just pray that whoever wins is what's best for America. If Trump wins, I pray he's what's best for America. If Hillary wins, I pray she's what's best for America. That's all we all care about anyway, right? Everybody that's pro-Hillary, everybody that's pro-Trump, everybody that doesn't like either of them, everybody that likes both of them, doesn't really care who wins, everybody that's third party, that's the thing we all have in common. That's why we're all invested in this so much, is because we just, with our personal views, we want what's best for America. That's the whole reason why we're into this. We just want what's best for America, and that's what I pray will happen, is whoever wins, I pray that they are the one that would have done the best job. And the one that loses, I pray the one that loses is the one that would have ruined America worse, or wouldn't have helped at all. And the one that wins is the one that does the best. That's what I pray. Or at least does the least amount of damage. Whatever you want to call it. There's an update. 197 to 244. Like I said, he did take Georgia. Those are the remaining states. And it looks like Trump is going to win. Because if you hover over Maine... Clinton's in the lead, hover over New Hampshire, Trump's in the lead, hover over, uh, oh yeah, that is New Hampshire, what are you doing, Pennsylvania, Hillary's in the lead, uh, Michigan, Trump's in the lead, Wisconsin, Trump's in the lead, Minnesota, Clinton's in the lead, Arizona, Trump's in the lead, Nevada, Clinton's in the lead, Washington, Clinton's in the lead, so I really don't freaking know. I really don't freaking know. I have no freaking idea. Okay, so this is a bit interesting. It's 2.41 a.m. This is CNN's results. It says 2.18 to 2.45. But, you go here to CNN... And theirs says 215 to 257. I don't know if you caught that before the the stream for some reason keeps going down. Let me refresh. Okay. Okay. 215 to 257. Then you go to Google and it says updated as of 241 AM. And it says here that Trump already won the presidency from 218 to 276. So I don't understand what's going on. Why is both CNN and uh, CBS especially so far behind? Like, is that it? Or is Google just estimating based on what's left in these states? I don't, I don't really understand. I don't know. And they're saying it the same thing on TV, 218 to 245, on live TV, so I don't even understand what's going on here. And now it says that she just called Trump to concede. He won. He definitely won, officially. And they finally updated it. There it is. So, like I said in the prediction of my video, I predicted Hillary to win because so did all of the other predictions. It just seemed like she would, but she didn't. Trump did, and whether you like it or not, he is now going to be the new president. Uh don't want to be negative about this, but that's just how it's going to go, and I was going to say the same thing with Hillary, I didn't want to be negative about it, um, 
I just want to say that I hope the best for America happens. Um, that Trump was the best choice. I hope that he was, is what I'm saying. I'm not saying he is, because I don't know. But I hope that he was the best choice. I hope America made the right decision. And that Trump makes the right decisions. Um, and that we'll all be okay. And everything will be fine. And that the fears that people have do not come to fruition. That everything will be fine. And that Trump will do what's best for America. I hope. Um, they did say that uh, after Trump started winning and everything, the stock market crashed um, by 800 points, predicted to crash another 500 uh, tomorrow, or today by the time you see this video. Um, the American dollar value went down, and the Mexican peso value dropped more than it has since in the last 19 years. So, that's what it is so far. So, uh, the final election result is 218 electoral votes for Clinton, 289 for Trump, 47.3% uh, Clinton, 47.9% Trump, majority vote, 56,886,934 for Clinton, 57,626,342 for Trump. So even if Elector didn't count, majority votes still would have voted Trump. So, uh, like I said, I don't want to be negative in this video. I just want to say I hope everything turns out for the best. No matter what. <laughs> anyway, uh, thanks for watching, and I will see you guys tomorrow. Bye. And I guess congratulations, Mr. Trump. I guess it's not president until January, but, you know, congratulations. Bye.